local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. It is the official, unofficial start of the high school football season. We're talking 2022 Northeast Indiana High School Football Media Day, and that was the case here at Optimum Performance Sports' new location on the north side of town. We're talking about Ops DuPont. And when you talk about football, hey, no better place to be in the state of Indiana than Fort Wayne today. Almost 40 local teams here to talk predictions, projections, and prognostications. Now, a lot of people this summer have been asking about the SAC. Last year, Snyder, Lures, and Carroll, they split the victory bell three ways. This year, SAC championship race, that appears to be just about as wide open as we've seen in quite some time. Yes, it's going to be it's going to be a little different from last year, like you said, with the seniors that were a big part of the team last year that left. Having the underclassmen step up this year will be fun to see. And we're, we're all invested in each other, so love is a huge thing we talk about, so as long as we stay invested and work hard and compete against one another, we'll be able to compete against anybody else. We definitely have a first goal as, uh, you know, winning SAC again, taking that bell home again, um, but looking for more after that. The offseason generally means coaching changes, and that was true again here in Northeast Indiana. Ryan Carmichael taking over at Wabash. Jason Dorfler goes from Northrop to Leo, while Snyder assistant Quentin Bowen now takes over the Bruins program. Meanwhile, Tim Manigle returns to the sideline at Concordia. Yeah, it's really exciting. It wasn't something that I anticipated happening. Um, the circumstances dictated that this is the way it was going to be, and um, it's cool. It's been a busy summer. We, we like where we're at. Uh, we got a long way to go, but uh, definitely on the right track. Just getting them to buy into the culture, um, loving the school, and just loving one another. We have a foundation and a set of expectations as, as they've grown up with me. And so what we want to do is particularly this year, we're challenging leadership. As for teams looking to repeat last year's success, Adam Central is coming off a trip to the 1A state title game, while Eastside is coming off the best season in school history following a trip to semi-state. Obviously, we want to continue to build on that, and obviously we want to make it further, uh, go all the way, but to do that, we're going to have to play as a team. It's a little bit different, you know, having those leaders last year, uh, but I feel like I can step into the role pretty well, and just going in it, be like, I'm the leader, I need to step up. And the football season is right around the corner. We're talking first practice on Monday, August 1st, and then scrimmage games August 12th, the first games Friday, August 19th. That, of course, marks the return of the Highlight Zone for the 28th season here on Wayne TV as Fort Wayne's number one and most watched sports show. 